feature racing here tonight at the Lebanon I-44 Speedway. Timothy Day wasting no time in the 20th. He's going to jump to the early advantage. Michael Jurgensen in that third spot. The number 23 car, he's going to make a move quick here on Taylor. As they're going to be side by side through turns three and four. Timothy Day going to lead lap number one in that number 20, Jurgensen. And Taylor side by side for that second spot. Jurgensen now with the advantage down the back straight away in that number 23 cars. He'll set his sights on Tim Day in the number 20. Another lap in the books. Top two cars breaking the 18.8 bracket. As a slight advantage to Michael Jurgensen in the 23. Looking to go back to back in the number 23 car. And Tim Day looking for his first asphalt feature win. A lot of success on the dirt side in that number 20 car in these cars. As he's out front, Jurgensen now looking to the inside at the bottom of turns three and four. Little loose off the bottom. Day will hold off in the number 20. Jurgensen now peeking to the top side. Might be a setup crossover move into turns three and four. As he's going to go top side here. Looking to get to that back quarter panel as Day still holding off of that number 20. Jurgensen looking way better through turns one and two as he had a two tenths quicker lap that time by. Now side by side through Calamity Corner. Day on the bottom, Jurgensen on the top side. Halfway home that time by, six laps to go. As Jurgensen with the momentum on the top, Tim Day still looking strong in the number 20. Ronnie Taylor still holding on to that third spot and Jaden Smith in fourth. All eyes up front though is Tim Day with a little bit of an advantage that time by. As Tim ran his fastest lap of the race that time by. Jurgensen with a dive bomb move and it turns three and four. A little bit of a dirt slide job there as they're side by side down the front straightaway. Tim Day holds them off in the number 20. Jurgensen still there. He's looking through the momentum through turns one and two. Good side by side battle up front. Jurgensen again as he's got that deep dive in turns three and four. Day still holds them off at the line. A little bit of contact there. Tim Day going to save it. As we're still green and clean, Tim Day, that's where that dirt experience comes in there. As he'll open up an advantage. Will Jurgensen have enough time? Is this going to be two to go at the stripe? Tim Day looking for that first asphalt win. Jurgensen quicker that time by, still in the number 23. As Tim Day looks pretty good here, coming through turns three and four. White flag in the air, one more lap to go here at the high banks of the I-44 Speedway. Tim Day looks good through three and four. Jurgensen gonna dive it in deep, but it's not gonna be enough. It's coming off turn four. Tim Day gonna be your Charger feature winner here tonight. Michael Jurgensen second. Nick Taylor going to be third in the 12. Or Ronnie Taylor, I'm sorry. And Jaden Smith will round out your field in the number 13. Completely different ball game. And uh, used to running on the dirt and decided to come out this year. And uh, congrats to Michael. He run me clean. And I don't know, I look clear, it looked clear in my mirror, but I must not have been clear. But uh, I saved her and drove the wheels off of it. And got to thank my sponsors, Day Enterprises here in Lebanon, our concrete construction, health markets, uh, Rick Fallis there, T uh, Dino Works, TVG Tuned, a lot of people that made this little Ford uh, beat a bunch of Chevys. So excited about it. Now, Tim, I'm also hearing a little bit of a rumor that they're going to try to be bringing a few more of these cars here to the track here sometime soon. Yeah, I think there's some dirt guys that are uh, wanting to come over and check it out. So it is definitely fun. That was more of a workout in this race than I've ever raced on dirt and I've won 
over 20 races on dirt. So that right there is a workout. So bring it and let's do it. All right, you guys heard it here from Tim Day, your Charger feature winner here tonight.
as Green off of turn number four, and we're racing here with your Douglas Auto Street Stock. Aaron Wilkie, Eisenhower still side by side through turns one and two. Eisenhower with a little bit of advantage. Looks like that middle line's where it's at tonight here, folks, as Eisenhower gonna lead him at the start finish line. A little bit of contact there with Wilkie as Wilkie's still peeking to the inside. Don't count out Chris Johnson in the double zero as he's still following in their trail. They're gonna peek to the top side of Wilkie there for second. Don Durant holding on to fourth. Battle back for fifth between the Johnson clan. Mikey now peeking to the top side of Corey Hinton in the number zero. Chris Johnson up in second trying to battle Aaron Wilkie in the eight. Eisenhower all alone up front. Johnson to the inside. Sparks down on the bottom as that's a good line there for Chris Johnson in the middle zero as he's side by side down the wild side. Lap car of Timothy Dare going to be coming into play here soon as Johnson the advantage in second position. Push up the track just a little bit. Going to open the door for Eisenhower as Chris Johnson ran his fastest lap that time by. Five laps down. Ice chip out in front in car number 24. Mikey Jorgensen now moved up into that fifth spot. <laughs> Folks, that double zero car is getting faster each and every lap. As he's now cut it down to three quarter of a second. Eisenhower still your race leader. Johnson still the fastest car on the speedway right now in that double zero. Problems for the 01 of Tony Johnson as he's trying to lip it into the pits there. Looking to see if he's gonna make it off as we've got a battle brewing up front. Johnson still on the exit, just getting off. That's still just a little bit quicker. Johnson closing that gap. Will Chris Johnson have enough laps as we're halfway home this time by? Lap car and Dare gonna come into play once again. Both leaders get by. Michael Jurgensen now starting to bring some speed in that number 88. That's still up front ice chip. Trevor Eisenhower, your race leader. Battle for fourth place, heating up there with Mikey Jurgensen in car number 88. And Don Morant, the 71. As a couple lap cars gonna come into play here shortly as Johnson now closed the gap. He's got it down to under a half second. Michael Jurgensen now in that fourth spot in the 88. Johnson still trying to hunt. Solid race up front with Trevor Eisenhower. One of those it's hard to see him ever miss a mark out here at the high banks of the I-44 Speedway. A little bit of trouble a couple of weeks ago. This will be 16 laps in the books. Four to go for your race leaders. Right now the show's gonna be, can Chris Johnson close that gap? He's running out of some laps, but he's closing the gap little by little. 
Looks like Johnson changes up his line just a little bit, pushes a bit higher. Johnson still just a little bit quicker each lap, but the laps are winding down here as we've only got two more laps to go. Good line, it looked like there by Johnson. Eisenhower gonna see the white flag. One more lap to go for your Douglas Auto Street Stocks. That's Trevor Eisenhower through turns three and four. One more charge by Johnson. Johnson closes quite a bit. Not gonna be enough. Your race winner, Trevor Eisenhower in car number 24. Chris Johnson second. Aaron Wilkie third. Good run by Michael Jorgensen as he moves into the fourth spot in the 88. Don Moran will round out your top five. Well, folks, give them a hand as they come down your front straightaway. Johnson. Closer and closer, and I was just trying to kind of just pace myself and not burn my stuff up. So, but uh, I don't know. Well, I was just trying to pace myself there. I seen him getting closer and closer in my mirror, but uh, luckily the lap counter ran out, so it worked in our favor. Yeah, he was cutting into your gap there a little bit. I know you had some issues there on the sixth. Looks like all the tires are up here. Yep, all the tires are up. That's a plus. So at least, we, at least we were finished up towards the front. Got any sponsors you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Bumper Bumper, Premier Automotive, Eisenhower Dirt Work, uh, KRC, Raymond Livestock, and all the guys that help work on this car and make it go around. All right, well, it looks like you got quite a few people. As pace is going to be picking it up through turns three and four. Green flag in the air. The Crown Vicks are underway. As wasting no time into turn number one, Matt Hazel going to be in car number five. Side by side, here comes Reggie Jackson moving up into three. Jed Rogers with some momentum, but don't look out. Here comes downtown Tim Brown. Sylvie going for a wild ride there on the wild side. He's going to keep it going. Still side by side, battle for fourth. Jed Rogers and Tim Brown. Go with the lead. Reggie Jackson on the bumper. Jed Rogers did get that first heat race win here tonight. Matt Hazel looking pretty good there out front. Long race though, as here comes Reggie Jackson in car number three. Jackson a little loose into turn number one. Brown looking to the top side of the 0-3 car. Reggie Jackson now still side by side down the wild side. Jackson backs off just a bit. That's gonna open the door for Hazel. As it's Hazel, Jackson. Mangus, Brown, and Rogers, your top three, side by side into turn one. Matt Eaton looking to the bottom of Nick Love. But up front, working through Calamity Corner. Jackson on the bottom. Hazel on the top, side by side at the stripe. Give it to Hazel. As here comes Jackson. 
That is now a little bit of a push off turn number two. Side by side battle for third. Race up front. Black car is going to come into play here as Jackson moves up the speedway just a little bit. That number three. Brown now up to third. As the lap car, Sylvie there at the number 85. The leaders will get around. Right now, Reggie Jackson running some quick times at that number three. But they'll have two cars battling for position right up in front of them. We'll see how this is going to work out as the leaders are going to be chasing down. The car is currently battling for the ninth place spot on the speedway. They're side by side racing for position. Nowhere to go. As Sylvie pulls it down here to the infield. Far wide. Off of Calamity Corner. Jackson with a good run through. Hazel follows. There was not a lot of room and the rookie driver Hayden Smith holding on strong on that top spot. Brown now going to get the lap car single file as Jackson's opened up a lead here to almost one second. Nick Love, Matt Eden battling back here in the number six spot. As here they come, Reggie Jackson still your race leader. We're past the halfway mark. Little loose off of turn number four is the 0-3. Field now starting to spread out here is your top five. It's going to be Jackson, Hazel, Tim Brown in third, Jed Rogers in fourth, and Ed Vegas holding on to your top five. Right now, Reggie Jackson has not fallen off on the lap times. And neither is Hazel in that number five. Is Hazel just a little slower that time by? Laps winding down here, three laps to go. Brown is coming. Holly, downtown Tim Brown running his fastest lap of the race that time by. Tim Brown, not a lot of laps to go, but he's closing that gap up quickly. Oh, this time by. As it's Jackson, Hazel and Brown, your top three. Out of that, Jed Rogers just ran his quickest lap also. White flag coming out for Reggie Jackson in car number three. As he'll take it down the wild side. Can Tim Brown make a move for second? Good run by Hazel there in the number five car. Coming off of turn number four, checkers in the air. Reggie Jackson, your feature here tonight. Matt Hazel second, Tim Brown third. Fourth gonna go to Jed Rogers. Ed Vegas going to be rounding out your top five in the 0-3. Good run there with Matt Eden also as he was gaining on the fifth place competitor.
Crown Vicks, feature winner. A little new for the, it's a long one. Uh, here, uh, that are hard to beat. Back. I think if we'd have laid back a little bit, we'd have probably been in trouble, so I decided I was gonna try to get going. Yep. Hazel was kind of holding with you there through the whole race. You guys kind of kept trading back and forth on your laps. Got anybody you want to thank? Uh, yeah, Napa here in Lebanon, uh, Garner and Smith Insurance. Um, obviously, Lebanon Quality Cars, because that's me. It's Hot Wheels, uh, Dawson's Hot Wheels here in town. They do, they mount all of our tires, <clears throat> buy most of them there. Uh, who else have I got? Oh, Rogers Auto Salvage here in town. And at least my wife. She puts up with a lot of crap, so I can do this. So I'm tickled that she likes it as good as I do, I think. All right, good run here tonight. Going to be one of the favorites here at the points, I do have a feeling. Woo! A few fans come down, get some pictures. Everybody, Reggie Jackson. You're Following him out, Joey Strode in the 2S. Here on Don Brown Memorial Night, Brian Brown, El Diablo gonna be in the number two. Steve Holt in the number 35 machine. Joe Ross out of Independence gonna be in car number 27. Justin Blake rolling out in car number 25. Jimmy Phone following there. April 6th is feature winner. Dylan Bates in car number 91. Terry Limberopolis going to be in the 07 machine, and Trenton Masters going to round out the field in the number 73. All right, folks, and with it being the Don Brown Memorial Night, Brian Brown bringing him down in that number two. He raced winner earlier tonight. You know he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder for this one. As Space Truck's gonna pull to the infield, we're gonna let him get some heat inside them tires. I-44 Speedway, wild side. Get them flashers rolling for you. Looking pretty dark there on the wild side. Wild side, can we get some flashes going on the back straightaway? As this will be your late model feature here tonight. And I'd I know one of Don's favorite things was when that wild side would light it up there. A little disappointing here tonight so far. Kenny Dickinson had a good run earlier tonight in that number 21 machine. Turn one's got it going on with the flashers. That's sad that we're gonna go ahead and have you guys get them turned off here. Don't want any confusion there. Into turn one. As the light's gonna be shutting off. 
green flag next time by. Spuds, Kenny Dickinson gonna be bringing him down in the 21 machine. Joey Strode to his outside. Ryan Brown inside row two with Steve Holt. As it's a 30 lap feature, green flag here and we are underway. Ryan Brown with a big jump down into turn number one. He's gonna try to go two for one as he'll move into that second spot. It's Strode out front, Brown second, Holt in third. Dickinson quickly falling back into that fifth spot and more. Down the back straight away. Here comes Del Diablo, Brian Brown. Brown now your race leader in the number two. Joey Strode off, taking a wild ride down the wild side in car number two. Brian Brown pulled away. Here comes Joe Ross, three wide, and in turn one, Dylan Bates locks it up. Jimmy Phone loops it around here at the bottom of the front straightaway. Backing up here. As we got two down, 28 to go. Brian Brown gonna be the one bringing him down in the number two. As the lights are off. Loud pedal off of four, green flag in the air, we're underway. Strode to, looks to peek to the inside of the number two machine. Joe Ross, good line to that number 27. Dylan Bates looks to the inside of the front five, single file. Bates now to the inside of Joe Ross through turns one and two. Four down this time by. Dylan Bates is on the move. Dickinson with a push there, the number 21 machine. That's going to open the door for Justin Blake in the number 25 machine. Dylan Bates is now looking for the third spot in the number 90. As he looks to the outside of Joey Strode. Steve Holt with the fastest lap that time by. In that second position, number 35 car. Steve Holtz getting quicker, folks, in that number 35. Running the fastest lap of the race that time by with Steve Holt. Dylan Bates now with the fastest lap of that number 91 machine. That's your battle for the fourth place spot. 
Give it to Limberopolis in the three of four. We'll see if Masters comes into play there. As the gap still hold the same, Steve Holt pushing up the track. A little bit of a push developing in that number 35 car. Brian Brown halfway home in the Don Brown Memorial. As the front two have run away from this, it's going to be a two-horse show right now. down to almost one second. So from the time Dylan Bates got into that second position, he's already cut that lead halfway down. Just nine tenths back. As Limberopolis looks like his scar is starting to come alive here in the later stages in that 07 as he'll make a battle with Steve Holt for third. Gap closes down to eight tenths. Laps winding down. Brian Brown out front in the number two. Dylan Bates looking to go two for two on this young season in the number 91. Dylan Bates is there. As we got 10 laps to go, coming to nine at the stripe. Folks, we got a race on our hands here. Ryan pushes up the track just a little bit. Dylan Bates switches the line up just a little bit. Runs a little lower on the speedway. Eight to go. Bates is there. Now just waiting to make the move. Also, where is he going to make the move at? We got the lap car. Trick Masters coming into play. Brian Brown pushes up on the top of the wild side. Brown going to try to pitch down. Side by side through Calamity Corner. Brian Brown, contact off the four. Brown holds him off. Will he use the lap car as a pick? Here they are, leaders side by side. Three wide down the wild side. Dylan Bates is there. He'll move into the top spot. Loose up the four. Brian Brown back to the inside. Four to go this time by. Brian Brown running in second. Dylan Bates, your leader. Does Brian Brown have anything left in that number two car? Is he going to get one more run? Brown with a good run through three and four. He pushes up high and loose off the corner. That's a cut through three and four, two to go this time by. Brian Brown might now be overdriving the car just a little. Bates now open up a little bit of a lead down the back straightaway. Brian Brown, good through the center of the corner, better run off, white flag to go. Is he gonna have an opportunity? Is Dylan Bates gonna hit his marks here in three and four? Bates smooth through the center off of number four, two for two on the season. Dylan Bates gonna be your race winner in the number 91 machine. Running second will be Brian Brown. Terry Limbalopoulos third. Steve Holt fourth. Joe Ross will round out your top five.
on the Don Brown Memorial Night here. So far on the season, he's two for two, folks. You were taking him just a little bit each time. What'd you think about it? Yeah, man, that was a that was a hard part race. Thirty laps about wasn't enough, but uh, I knew we had some lap traffic coming up, and I really uh, really didn't want to wait to make my move till after because I wasn't sure there was going to be enough time. And we were we were running out of room. I was three wide on the back stretch, and I was trying to keep it in there. Brian was trying to close the gap, and we had a heck of a race. And uh, luckily, we were able to get clear and come on for the win. Yeah, you knew he was going to drive real hard tonight with it being the Don Brown Memorial here. Uh, you got any sponsors you want to thank on this? Uh, yeah, man, Don Brown. He's a he was a great guy. Uh, I was, you know, I've spent a lot of time around Brian, and uh, we've raced a lot around uh, around this place. And Don was always here back in the day, and it was, he was always a great guy to talk to and share a story with. Heck, he, he let me come to his house one night for a tornado when I was up here in Lebanon. So he's a, he was a great guy, and uh, it's it's awesome to have this race. And um, yeah, it was awesome, man. But yeah, I got to thank uh, John Christ Racing, John Christ Comedy. Um, this guy does so much for this program, and uh, he keeps us going up and down the road. Without him, this isn't possible. And another guy this isn't possible with is Joe Ross, man. He owns this car. Without him, um, we can't make any of this happen either. So I got those two, two big sponsors there that keep this thing rolling, and without them, I wouldn't be here at all. So can't thank those guys and the Sentinel Foundation and just Aaron for running this track this year and everything, man. It's, it's great. All right, guys, give him a hand. Your late model feature winner here tonight, Dylan Bates in car number 91.